but it's still the same ingredients, the nitrogen, oxygen, carbon. Right. And so if I were to be more sort of chemically accurate in my discussion of dust, uh, that changes the whole conversation. Hannah Holmes wrote The Secret Life of Dust, From the Cosmos to the Kitchen Table, great mm. title. A, a former science editor with the, I think the LA Times. But anyhow, so, so dust is it's everywhere, you know. Mm. Uh, but I, rather than look at dust and say, "Oh, this this is cat dander," and this is from sawdust, I, I as a as a cosmologist, mm. cosmetologist, <laughs> as an astrophysicist, it's all stardust yeah. to me. And and so, is and, it, and in that famous song, was it by Kansas? All we are are dust, dust in, in the, the wind. wind. And he says, "All we are." He says. That's, That's what it. we are. But Don't this, say it. But, but but this human being that I am is, is the, stardust. I the is you are traceable to stars. Okay. And to me that's a stardust memory. So if that we I get carry. back to the question from Emily, I get the impression that everything is an evolution of stardust, which makes me wonder Which is fair. That's very fair. So that her question it. is what does future evolution hold based on this foundation of stardust that we just talked about? It's it is the richness of the chemistry that the periodic table of elements grants us. Got it. And it, far as I can tell, it knows no bounds.